my storytellers and welcome back to another story time with Steffi. How are you today? Now, today's story is The World Made a Rainbow. Now, this was written by Michelle Robinson and illustrated by Emily Hamilton. Make sure you stick around until the end of the story because I'm going to be telling you how you can get your drawings featured on this channel in my next video. So stick around. Enjoy the story, storytellers. <music> Made a Rainbow, written by Michelle Robinson, illustrated by Emily Hamilton. All the world had to stay home today. I wished that it didn't. I wanted to play. I missed everybody. My grandma, my friends. My mum said, you'll see them once everything mends. Let's paint a big rainbow to put on display. When people pass by it and see it, they'll say, all rainstorms must end, and this rainstorm will too. And they'll feel a bit happier. All thanks to you. So we dig out the paint pots. I love making art. We've got lots of red, so I make a good start. But red makes me think of the chairs in my class. Mum gives me a cuddle. This rainstorm will pass. I can't reach the orange, but Mum has to work. And Dad's with my brother, who's going berserk. I'll start on the yellow. It's bright like the sun. I splodge it around with the red. It's good fun. <gasps> I've made my own orange, but I can't make green. I need blue for that and the blue pot's wiped clean. I start to feel lonely. I start to feel sad. Then... How about odd bits of cardboard, says Dad. He cuts and I stick and my brother helps too. We have to mix flour and water for glue. It looks really good, like the ocean says Mum, and all the adventures we've still got to come. The seaside, the city, the forest, the park. The light couldn't shine if it never knew dark. And rainbows can't colour the world without rain. So we get back to work on my rainbow again. I've never been quite sure what indigo's like, Dad laughs. <laughs> Indigo? <laughs> um... Like your very first bike. And they dig out a memory box I've never seen, packed with mementos from places we've been. I shout indigo as I spot Mum's jeans. Well, I can't cut them out, so we use magazines. Then Dad takes a snapshot for Gran and I say, Memories are good, we'll make more every day. My rainbow looks great, there's just Violet to go. Violet. The loveliest person I know. Violet's my best friend. I miss her so much. Mum fetches her laptop. Let's put you in touch. And would you believe, Violet feels just like me. And she's making a rainbow for people to see. We walk to see hers and she walks to see mine. We wave to each other and really, it's fine. Not perfect. But neither's my rainbow. So what? I'm perfectly happy with all that I've got. Violet, my parents, my brother, my friends. And we'll still have each other when this rainstorm ends. And there we have it, my storytellers. I really hope you enjoyed this sweet story, The World Made a Rainbow, written by Michelle Robinson and illustrated by Emily Hamilton. Now, I do have a few questions to test your knowledge on this week's story. The first question is, what did mum suggest to paint and put on display? Was it A, a rainbow, B, some clouds, or C, a love heart? Shout out your answer now. Amazing storytellers, that's right. The answer was A, a rainbow. Question number two. The little girl makes a video call to her best friend, but what's her name? Is it A, Alison, B, Violet, or C, Helen? Shout out your answer now. Amazing storytellers, you're doing such a good job. That's right, the answer is B, Violet. 
You did amazing with those question storytellers. Keep up the good work. Right, now I do need to tell you how you can get your drawings onto my channel. All you need to do is pop onto Instagram and follow at Storytime with Steffi. Then you need to get your drawings, take a picture and just pop them onto Instagram and hashtag Storytime with Steffi. That will mean that I will be able to find your drawings and pop them up on my channel for everyone to see and to celebrate your amazing hard work. So all you need to do is go on to Instagram, follow at Storytime with Steffi and hashtag your drawings with hashtag Storytime with Steffi and you could be on next week's video. Now that does bring us to the end of Storytime with Steffi this week. I hope to see you again next week. Bye storytellers! Mm -hmm.